good kitten internet. I have no idea how much you can see right now. But I've got a kitty on top of me. Some kitty's been on top of me most of the night. It's, I don't know what time. Guessing from light levels, I'm gonna say 6.45 to 7 in the morning. Anyway, good internet. Hopefully I'm in view, focus, whatever. I really need to figure out how to make my camera stream to my phone. Bye. <sighs> Good kitten, everyone. It's been a bit of a long day, so. <sighs> I'm sure some of you are wondering, well, why I'm back vlogging. Um, what happened? Why well, I haven't played any of the Let's Plays that I've been working on for... Eh, we're getting close to a year now for the last time I've played any. Or got significant progress in them, at least. And, well, I suppose... I don't really owe it to you all so much as I feel like I should share it. So... Between the last time that I vlogged back in 2015 and now... I've been diagnosed with a medical condition, and it's a fairly common condition. I just I happen to have, well, it quite a bit worse than a lot of people, apparently. Um, I'm sure you've noticed I've gained back all of the weight that I've lost. I'm not necessarily all that great sound. For those of you that have been around me in person, I don't quite sound the same anymore. I've been diagnosed with severe depression. Um, I've known that I've been heavily depressed for quite some time. It's just gotten a lot worse lately. A lot worse. Uh, in addition, I've been diagnosed with a few anxiety disorders and caused by the depression, I guess you would say. Or exacerbated by the depression. I'm pretty certain my pyrophobia is not actually related to my depression. Or, it is related to my depression, but it was not caused by my depression. It certainly gets worse when I'm in a particularly bad state of mind. Um, so some of you may have heard me use the phrase, this is a bad brain day. That's usually my code word for saying my depression's quite a bit worse than normal. It's... It's not easy dealing with it. I constantly have... A voice or two or three or several voices in my head telling me that whatever I'm doing is stupid, wrong, useless, not worthy of actually paying attention. Everything I'm doing is worse than everybody else's. My life should be easy because, well, I'm in a good position. I have a good paying job. I have people that love me. Lots of friends. So obviously I'm a failure at life. It's, yeah, it's not easy. I think the most, hmm, not really the most, but, this kitty? I think one of the biggest triggers as of late was when, well, when my cats started not liking each other. And I'll have a video on that in a little more detail later, but... The short version is that I've basically caused them enough stress where they freaked out from a cat seeing outside and started attacking each other. It was not a good experience. I'm not really in... Well, I'm, I'm sort of in treatment for my depression. Um, how better to explain it? So I mentioned the previous vlog, which I'll totally put in one of the corners of this somewhere. I can't actually, when I'm using my main film camera, not film, it does not have film. When I'm using my main still camera, there's no screen that I can look at. I can use my tablet for a screen, but for some incredibly stupid reason, Sony disabled the ability to look at a tablet when it's recording video, or even when it's set up for video. So I basically have to activate the app, sit over here, look at my tablet, position everything properly, and then go back and exit out of the app, exit out of the app on the phone, and then hit the record button. It's 
kind of dumb. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, memory loss has been quite a bit worse as of late. So I'm not on any medication for my depression. I've taken medication in the past, my junior year of high school, so I would have been 16, uh, 16, 17 or so. I had, my grades were slipping like, a, dropping like a rock, one of which was totally not my fault. The other one definitely was for the two grades that were really low. And I talked to a psychologist. Um, my mother had left the room and the psychologist wanted to talk to me directly. And basically I laid out everything, mentioned yes, I was suicidal. Maybe not at that particular moment, but I have been in the past, and the psychologist immediately went, here, have these medications, they'll make you think right. When I started taking them, I lost two days of my memory. Completely gone during the day. I basically remember walking to my first class at the start of the day, and then slowly not being able to think properly. It's kind of like a cloud. And then, all of a sudden, snapping back into focus during my last class of the day. Happened for two days. I refused to take any more and flush the rest of the pills down the toilet. That was well butrin, if I remember right. So, I've been going at this with a different perspective. So, I have a therapist. I've mentioned that I've had a therapist before, because I've had both physical and mental therapists. Technically, I'm seeing both at once, but I had to drop the physical therapist because I don't actually have enough sick days at work. Kind of had to choose one or the other. I'm down to, I think I just jumped back up to three and a half sick days. And for reference, a lot of my coworkers who have been there just as long as I have are in the 40s. So I've definitely used a lot more than normal, and it's not really feasible for me to see both therapists at once. So I decided, well, my mental issues are a much much, much more important thing for me to focus on, and there's a good chance that a lot of my physical problems are actually related to what's in here. So I see a therapist about once a month, roughly, and we talk. There's no medication involved. I've always been pretty good with meditative breathing, and that really helps my stress levels, but it doesn't really help my depression. Um, the way my depression works is when I'm silent, so and by myself specifically. So, like right now, I'm alone in my room. If I wasn't talking to the camera right now, this would either be, if I'm having a good day, it's not that big of a deal. If I'm having a bad day, when I go to sleep, I'm in my bedroom, obviously, when I go to sleep, or when I attempt to go to sleep at least, my brain will start kicking in with the worst possible things I can think of, I end up with really nasty insomnia at best, and feeling like life is worthless at worst. It's not easy for me to talk about these things. It's, at least in the society I live in, it's quite a bit of a taboo. It's supposed to be something that you're supposed to take care of yourself, and that's really dumb. I still believe it in the back of my mind. There's something that tells me that I should be taking care of myself this way. But I don't, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had this many problems. I mentioned in previous video that I had coloring books. That so far has been one of the ways I've been able to clear my mind. I had been reading online that a few people had mentioned that adult coloring books, which adult, not sexy adult, as in not geared toward children. They're usually just pretty designs and so on, but adult coloring allows you to enter a very similar to meditative-like state. Only since I'm focusing on something, my brain actually shuts up. As opposed to, if I'm trying to calm myself down, if I'm by myself and already depressed, that's when stupid brain takes over and I start getting worse. So I've been working on some coloring. I recently bought a new coloring book specifically for this that includes markers. I'll, I'll probably take a later episode of my vlog to cover the coloring part, but really the thing that's 
I've been able to figure out that helps me with the depression is creativity. So, I believe I've even mentioned in a vlog somewhere that I am not a very good artist. I can't draw worth a darn, I draw stick figures badly. You've probably heard me say these things in the past if you watched all of the vlogs, which and there might be two of you that actually have. Um, that's not actually true. My mother has said that for quite some time, and my mother's a very good person, don't get me wrong. She definitely did not help when it came to things like that. Um, I've even had arguments with her more recently about, yes, I am an artist, um, I'm a creative person. It's somewhat strange to be in my field and be very creative, not saying sysadmins can't be creative, I'm just saying it's not typical. Um, typically sysadmins, and really people in IT in general, are very logical thinking, um, orderly, and so on. That doesn't mean they can't be creative, it's just the stereotype that they aren't. I'm not. I'm definitely creative. I was in theater for years. I run role-playing campaigns, plural, simultaneously, and I've received a lot of praise for what I've done. I'm, I've actually been getting quite a bit better as of late. I play traditionally creative games. I play sim-style games. I, I can even do drawing on computers now. I've started working on photography, which is the reason why I bought myself a new camera. It's my new camera is specifically so I can get better when actually my new camera is specifically so I can focus on my hobby on something. It's... That's been the way I've been able to treat my depression so far. And I still have down days. But I feel as though my down... my up days are happening more often. And today I'm... my brain has not been very stupid. It's actually been fairly nice to me. I've been able to really just, well, be me. Depression doesn't let me be mean. Depression makes me be somebody bleh, kind of just bleh all of the time, or makes me have to lie. Um, I bet a, this is probably a bit of a surprise for a lot of people that I may be talking to, because I can present myself as though I'm not depressed. I'm a very good liar, believe it or not. Um, that's actually the way I have to deal with my depression if there's something I have to do and I feel like life is worthless. I kind of force myself into a different role where I can do that something. It may not be the greatest in the long term, but in the short term I don't really have much of a choice. I've even heard some people talk about fake it until you make it, and that might work for a few things. It helps with my imposter syndrome at least, and oh boy is my imposter syndrome huge. Um, that's one of my anxieties, in fact, is related to Imposter syndrome. Um, imposter syndrome, for those of you that may not know it, is basically, this is really summarized, there's probably much better description on Wikipedia, but imposter syndrome is basically the constant feeling as though you don't belong in what you are doing. Like, for instance, you have this nice job and you have imposter syndrome believing that you being in that job is a mistake. Should have never happened, somebody's going to catch you any day and realize yeah, no, you're not even close to being able to do this. I have a lot of imposter syndrome in most of the things that I do that I specialize in. Not even just work-related things, but also photography, computers. Yeah. This is me. I'm hoping to be able to deal with the stuff in between my ears. It's not going to be something that's going to go away. I'm pretty much stuck with my brain, and my brain is going to say a lot of stupid things to me. The best that I can do is control it, so my posture syndrome even <clears throat> includes dealing with my cats, and that's probably cost me a lot. My cats have actually been the, one of the most major sources of my depression. So yeah, this is me. I'm sorry I'm not what everybody expects. but. Can't be everything all of the time. Good night, Internet. I'll hit you in the morning. You need to come up here, kitty cat. 
Because you're in all of the vlogs. Or at least your brother or sister. Come on up. No. Okay, fine. I'll just move the camera. Once I find where the trigger is, I'm trying to do this. Sight unseen, that does not help. Do, 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 do. Hi. Own kitty. There's his own kitty. Oh dear, I have the ISO up really high. I just noticed. I'm sorry, internet. Hopefully it's not too bad.